Sir, please get back! missing something. Brace yourself. Oscar's gonna be here any second. I guarantee he's gonna be crying about the letter we got in the mail. Letter? What letter? Hey Oscar, how are you? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Layoffs this month. I, I can't sleep. I can't think. I can't. Easy. It'll be alright. Layoffs? The letter. Don't you check your mail? The company's downsizing. I haven't got mail in like a week. I don't know what the hell's going on like. Looks like you haven't shaved in about a week either. I lost my razor. <laughs> I really think you need to find a good little old man to this week. <coughs> Terry Doppel, do you always have a party going on by your desk? I'm sorry, I'll get it done as soon as possible. And you look like you could use a shave also.
ist geil. I'm sorry, never mind. Android technology is not gonna help you. Uh hi, this is this is Terry Duffel. Um I'm gonna be running a little late to work today. Alright. Alright, I'll let them know. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Next weekend, I got this killer golf course on the north side. It'll be a blast. I got a brand new set of clubs. Come on. Uh, we'll see, but uh, it does sound nice. Uh, come on, Jimbo. You'll have a great time. All right, fine. <laughs> Keep up the good work, though. You got it. Something happened to your left arm? What? When you were eight, on July 19th, what happened to your arm? I fell off my bike and broke it. That's funny. When I was eight, I mysteriously broke my arm. The doctors had no idea what to do. There I am sitting on my floor, watching TV, and all of a sudden, BAM! Broken arm. I don't understand. I didn't either, for a long time. Till this one morning, I'm driving downtown. And guess who I see walking across the street? So, there I am, sitting in my car, wearing a face similar to the one you have on right now. As you walk across the street, you trip on the curb. You scratched your knee pretty good that morning, didn't you? And all of a sudden, guess what? I look down at my knee, and it's got the same Scratch. Weird, huh? Goofy. Insane. Me and you share a strange connection. A sort of paradox. We share the same body in some weird way. The day I scraped my knee. When was this? About two years ago. Have you been following me for two years? Yes. Why? Learning every aspect of your life. Why would you do that? To become you. What? I am Terry Doppel now. No, 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 no. You're very wrong. You're 100% wrong. I'm 100% right. Your mother already accepts me as Terry Doppel. 
I visited her last week. She was very appreciative. You visited my mother? You ever wonder why your ex-wife hasn't called you in over a week to let you know how your kids are doing? They're doing good, by the way. Tommy's report card has nothing but A's and B's. I'm very proud of him. I'm calling the police, you son of a bitch. This little game you're playing is ending right now. Terry, I wouldn't do that if I were you. After all, I am Terry Doppel. No, you're not. You're just some psychopathic stalker who looks like me. According to my ID, I'm Terry Doppel. Oh, and by the way, thanks for leaving your wallet next to my car this morning. Why are you doing this? Just go on and live your own damn life. I have. I've lived my life all these years, and it's gotten me nowhere. I came from a life of poverty. Unlike you, who's had everything given to them. I had no father figure. All I had was a mother hopped up on drugs. It's a tough life being me. Unlike you who sits here in this cozy office and nice home, it's unfair. If you want something in life, you gotta take it. I'm taking your life. That's where you're wrong. This time is different. This time I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna let you win. Why don't you just sit back and let it happen like you did with your divorce a year ago? Just go sit in a corner and be a coward like you. Stop. Stop, you fucking nutcase. Not gonna look too professional sitting at your desk with a big old shiner on your face, are you? How about another? Stop, you son of a... <clears throat> If this isn't gonna work for me, this isn't gonna work for us. Thank you.